Luck here from the Motor City Pit Vipers and today I am going to show you how to set up a DCS server and um, how to run it effectively. So one of the things we're going to do is start off with a very clean freshly installed Windows. As you can see it's not even activated yet. This is just off of a virtual machine and uh, um, you know it's a typical Windows. What I'm going to do is break it down so it is streamlined for serving DCS and becoming uh, a server and not necessarily a user experience that we would all you know want for Windows desktop. So the first thing I'm going to do is you see I got Cortana down here, search and all this stuff. I'm going to get rid of all this stuff and turn a lot, turn a lot of it off. Um, quickly I'm going to show you the network settings and one of the biggest things you want to do in the network settings is get rid of all the stuff you don't need. For one, turn off packet scheduler. I've already done that here. Turn off file and print sharing because all that stuff just adds to um, traffic you don't need. And the QoS packet scheduler, quality of service, that thing actually prioritizes other things above your what you're doing, and and that's something you don't want, you definitely don't want. Um, I also disable IPv6 because you don't need it. And then make sure that you figure out what IP address you're going to use so you can put it in your router. So that I've done it and um, the network's ready. And next thing we're going to do is debloat Windows. So I'm going to go over here and open up the browser and I'm going to go to uh, Windows 10 debloat. It'll search, and it, the first thing, it'll, one of the ones that'll come up is a site called Chris Titus. And Chris does Windows debloating. Here it is, ChrisTitus.com. Windows debloat Windows. There it is. <coughs> he has it his own. He has his own YouTube channel. He's a fantastically smart guy. You should check him out. Go check out his Windows uh, debloat stuff. But you can download the scripts, or you can actually run it right from here. So. Uh, this is a PowerShell script. You can just download and copy. So I'm just going to copy it. And I'm going to run PowerShell as a admin. And here it is. So it's running. So get rid of that. So I could paste that script in here. Edit, paste. And it didn't come up, did it? Try this again. Copy. Paste. Okay. So, as you can see, I fired it up and it comes up with this little program. And uh, basically, this is just what it sounds like it debloats Windows. So, essential tweaks is uh, the first thing I do. So, I hit it. And what it's going to do in the background, it's going to do, um, uh, it's going to take a quick backup and then it's going to disable a lot of stuff that it doesn't need. And as you can see, it's turn off telemetry and, out, and application history and a bunch of just stuff that you, that slows down um, DCS. So as this runs, it's going to do a bunch of stuff, and then it's going to pop up a window telling me it's finished. And the next thing I'm going to do after that is you see install Chocolatey. Chocolatey is a is a program if you're not familiar with it for uh, installing Windows programs, and essentially it just allows you to do them in batches. So I'm going to install Chocolatey, and then I'm going to install Notepad++ in the Brave browser. Um, Notepad++, Notepad++ is work, works great for editing Lua scripts, so I'm going to use that. As you can see, it finished. And then the Brave browser is better than Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer because it's a th much thinner, lightweight browser. And it offers a little bit of privacy, so I like it. I'm going to run it. So I'm going to install Chocolatey. And you know when it finishes, you'll get another pop-up that says it's finished. Okay, so it says it wants. It says a little notice there. It's very likely you need to close and reopen your shell. So let's go ahead and close this. Close this. We don't need that anymore. <clears throat> and I'm going to rerun PowerShell. And because I already just ran it, I can just up arrow, and there it is. 
I'm run it again. Chocolate is installed. I'm going to install Brave. You can see it's going through it. It's on the Brave browser. What it should have done is showed you how much memory everything was taken beforehand to now. Okay, there's my brave browser. It's running. I'm going to pin it to the taskbar and close it. We don't need it yet. So, memory's at 3 gigs. It is actually um, a lot less after you take off these tweaks. Do all these tweaks, it goes a lot better. So, anyway, next thing I'm going to do is turn off Cortana. And I'm going to turn off Windows Search. Reason being is use both of these programs take a lot of resources. Uh, in the case of Windows Search, it's constantly indexing your hard drive, and it's just you know you just don't need it running. So, and I believe that's finished. So the next thing I'm going to do is the low the, on the security. I'm going to set it for low, so it disables a lot of this. Uh, again, uh, Windows Defender, UAC prompt, all this stuff. Just to, you know, for my server, it's just me running it. I'm just going to turn it all off. And yeah, it's finished. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Did the Cortana finish? Because it's uh, search is finished. Okay, so good. Now, uh, next thing is updates. So I am going to do Windows update on it, get it all updated. Then I'm going to set security updates only because I don't want this thing constantly up, uh, updating and downloading things and rebooting all the time. So Windows update. There should be a bunch of them since I basically just installed this. Download and install. So go ahead and do that. So we'll let that happen, and then I'll pick up back when this is finished. Okay, and we're back. And now notice how Windows looks. The uh, search is gone. Cortana is gone. I'm gonna dump this. I'm gonna dump this. All right, now it's just getting the way I want it to be. So I do a couple more things, uh, just for ease. And while we're doing this, I'm going to start downloading DCS. And that's like a virus, isn't it? Okay, so we, we're going to download the server. Oops. Take that back. Down here, dedicated server. I'm not going to get the beta. You can get the beta server, but I'm going to get the straight 2.5 server. So Download, download. And ready to run. So I'm going to close this out. Don't need it. Now, defaults are okay. Let it go. This takes a while. The uh, in actual installation is like 99 gigs. So uh, it's going to go and it's going to start downloading and it's going to take probably 30 minutes so I'm going to on my system so I'm going to go ahead and pause it and let it go and I'll pop back in when it's over okay one more thing I want to show you it a uh, couple things that are pretty useful to do is if you'd like to make it easy open up your explorer uh, your um, PC here and then there's some places you want to get to your desktop so um, your save game folder is going to be important so under your PC under uh, this machine let's see users log in this case save games because everything from DCS you put in a save game so I usually put it on the desktop up here and then I always put my downloads up there too because I end up moving things and go into downloads so I want to get get to them quick the other thing I do is um, actual this PC 
and you just drag it up there like that so you can get to it quick. And while this is going, we're going to download SRS. SRS for. Oops, cancel what happened here. It's for DCS. Simple radio, here we go. So you download this, and I'll get it ready to go for server mode. Okay, so really what I what I do here is just extract it right into downloads. And fire up the server one time. As you can see, it started up. I always turn on the uh, show transmitter name. I think that's important. And then, now that it's been run once, in these scripts, we're going to move these into the DCS directory. This is the auto auto connect. And I'll come back to that in a minute. But I wanted to show you this. Um, open with we're going to open this with Notepad plus plus since we just downloaded it. Did I forget to install Notepad Plus Plus? I sure did. Since we already installed Chocolatey, and um, I forgot to do this, so I got the Brave Browser but not Notepad, so let's grab that. It's good for editing the Lua file, so it makes a big difference when you're trying to make some changes to the SRS auto connect or something else that's important. So, got it. Let's close it. Good. And now we can say auto connect open with Notepad. All right. So, in my server, I have to change the default port. For most people, you won't have to change this. You just leave it alone. Um, you set this to true right here where it says false. And it'll actually set this the way it should be for you. Me, I have to bank this 4,000 and or 5,005. Everything else could stay the same. I can save it. And now, um, when I come back in here, and verify it saved. It did okay. Um, these scripts are going to be moved into the the DCS directory that'll be under save games. So we're waiting for that to finish. And I'll check back with you when it's over. Okay, DCS finished installing, as you can see, and now we have it. So first thing I want to do is um, just fire it up. It's going to ask me to log in. I'm going to undo the firewall for it. And it's running. So you can see it's running, and when, when the DCS server runs, you just get this. The other next thing we're going to do is fire up the, the GUI. And all that is is a simple interface to get to the server, and this is where we're going to do a couple of things for best practices. Okay, so I don't have a mission, so I'm going to grab a mission real fast.
Notice in Save Games I have DCS Server. I'm going to create a directory called Missions. And we're going to put it in here. And I'm going to connect to the server. Okay, so there's my two missions. I'm going to put in the 2v2 just for now, and we're going to change a couple things here. Uh, the name of your server, we're always MCPV. Um, I usually call it whatever the name of the mission is. In this case, it's going to be the 2v2 PVP by Dr. And this is server 4, so we call this 4. Okay, so number of people. I'm going to leave it at 16 for now because this is a 2v2 server, so leave it alone. There's a password if you need it. We don't need one. Uh, over here, uh, integrity check. Leave it on. Advanced stuff. So this is what we do down here is we say resume with clients. Other than that, it's going to be paused. And then my max ping, I usually say 100. Save it. And save. Now we have this all set. We can hit run. And the server starts. It just takes a minute. And just see what it's doing to the resources. You can see it takes a little while. Once it's running, hard drive actually slows way down and you don't really use the hard drive anymore once it's loaded. Uh, memory will continue to climb and get close to that 16 gigs. And then CPU will be, you know, kind of going um, as it goes. So there you have it. So it's running. And now I can see that it's running and we can connect to it with DCS. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Thanks again for watching.